Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how Paul Tudor Jones made hundreds of millions trading the S&P 500. Look, a lot of strategies have been shared online about how to trade the S&P 500, but in this video we're going to create a better strategy, an automated strategy that everyone can trade. So let's go to the charts, let's quickly show you how this strategy works, then build it in 5 minutes, automate it, and then backtest it over the recent 20 years of data, see what the performance is, and see if you can use it. Subscribe below if you want more features videos like this because I'm gonna create a whole series about how to trade stocks, crypto or FX. So how is it possible that he made so much profits with this strategy? So Paul did announce in an interview that the main reason why the 200 moving day average strategy is so powerful is because you exit before the downtrends. And that works like this. You have here this overall chart, the S&P 500, you have this 200 moving day average and you exit here your buys then you don't catch this whole bearish trend and you look for longs again when this overall daily bar closes above the 200 moving average you probably think why is this so powerful and does this even work let's quickly scroll down and you can see these are the returns of the back test since 1960 more or less until 2020 crazy returns we're gonna back test it ourselves as well let's go to the charts quickly see on trading view how you can manually back test this but of course we automate things because that is way quicker uh, to collect your data than manually going back and using your excel sheets right i have here the 200 moving average you can just add that on your trading view on your charts and then you have the spx the s p 500 and you can see the breakout here to the upside you go along here so that's rather simple you go along here and you catch this whole trend until your exit which was here in january 2022 and you can just manually test this strategy and see how it works for yourself you don't really need to stop loss you can measure your max drawdown because this is a buy and hold strategy more or less it outperforms their normal buy and hold strategy because you have half the drawdown but that's all the details now you know how this works let's quickly go to metatrader so i already automated this strategy for you later in this video we're gonna break down how you create it yourself but we're gonna of course share the source code as well with you so i already automated this strategy this is how it works we have metatrader 5 we have the s p 500 and when this moving average breaks to the upside you buy and when it closes below the moving average it sells that is the simple strategy here you buy here you sell here you buy so you have a lot of trades there and now you're waiting for the next trend right so often you take a, a couple wins losses and then every time you want to trade and catch this whole trend and if you do this correctly you will get this overall chart to the upside really really strong performance you can see that here again you catch here in 2019 a trend and it just goes up and up and up here you exit before the crash and then you try to catch the next one so this 2020 of course we had the 2020 crisis and then we had a sick bull run just due to the money printer going printing and everything going into the s p 500 so this is like these trades are the big ones and this is why this strategy has been working for many many years and it's a very interesting strategy so let's get to fx dreama let's build this together in a couple minutes if you don't want to learn to build you can just download it in the description check out the links and i see you in the next episode otherwise let's quickly go to fx dreama and build this in five minutes ourselves so welcome to Avex Dreama. This is the software that we use drag and drop to connect code with each other without writing any. Why do we do this? Overall, one out of the hundred strategies work. So what is important for us is how to build as quickly as possible. And writing code is slow. Manually backtesting is slow, but this way is the fastest so we can quicker test those hundred strategies and really find an edge in the markets. Of course, this strategy already works so we can just simply build it what i want to do is once per bar i want to check the condition that we have a daily close so candle close of yesterday above the 200 moving average right you can do the moving average the simple one or the exponential one whatever you want just test both and if you have that close above the moving average simply just buy with let's say one lot we don't have a stop loss we are here uh, S&P is not going to zero so we're just gonna keep it like that no take profit and then the next rule was of course what happens when we do cross to the downside with that let's say 
when we do cross to the downside when we have a buy trade and we need to exit it on that cross to the downside on the 200 moving average so how to do that is rather simple you go and you check if you have a trade i'm in the way right now so let's quickly do it like that what you do is if if position so let's say we are in a buy position really simple you don't even have to clarify it because we never sell but let's let's say that filter is that you are in a buy you open a condition block and then just the opposite right a close crosses below the 200 moving average if that happens then you check for each position so each buy trade you only have one but just do for each position and then we need to close the position fully so this is the whole strategy we literally did it in one minute maybe even less this is the strategy that i built that i showed you in meta trader you go once per bar you check if you have that overall cross above it if you do have it you buy the s p 500 when it crosses below you exit it it is a simple strategy you can do it manually or you can do it automatically i like to at least back test it with automation and then you can decide for yourself how to trade that so in the next episode we're gonna cover also how you do crypto and how you do this for fx as well if you like the more coding part let me know in the comments if you just want more strategies let me also know in the comments besides that i'm still doing a funding challenge we will do an episode on that probably in a few weeks and we will do a third episode on the trend line system I've been building. The past two videos were about that regarding my videos that I make every Thursday. So I hope you like it. Subscribe below and I see you in the next one.